All right, everybody, it is Mr. Bellamy, and we are back at bringing you some more games from the 1800s. Remember, Kansas became a state when? 1861, for those of you from Kansas, you should know that. Uh, so we are celebrating this year our 160th birthday, um, and we are doing games from the 1800s. We've gone over marbles, we've gone over uh, jacks, uh, we're going to go learn how to play grace, um, but right now we're going to work on how to do a yo-yo. So a yo-yoing is, I'm going to start off with, I am not the best yo-yoer. I'm going to link you to some videos of uh, Robbie Graham, who uh, is the son of one of our teachers here at our school, who can show you what you can really do with a yo-yo if you put your mind to it and practice and practice. Uh, I can make it go up and down, up and down, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with that fact. So the first thing we're gonna do is, the yo-yos usually have like a little hole at the end that usually won't fit your finger. And that's because it's not made to fit your finger. It's made to fit the string in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that string and you're gonna stick it into that hole and then it's going to be a loop just like that. And what you can do with that, now it'll fit anybody's finger. So you can, you can put it on your ring finger, you can put it on, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna yo-yo right-handed. I like to go right in the center, so I like that middle finger because it puts it right in the center of my hand, it allows me to catch it and grasp it like that. So you're gonna put that on your finger, just like that, and then you're going to let it go down and just pull it back up. So as it goes down, right before it hits the bottom, you're gonna pull back up. So down, pull up. So normally you're gonna do this more about waist high, so down, up, down, up. You can do an overhand throw, back, up, down, up, down, up. Now, my students are pretty small, so when we play in my gym, I get a lot of yo-yo smashing the floor, and I've had, I've gone through, what, this is my seventh year? Uh, I've probably gone through about 10 to 12 yo-yos, uh, because they get smashed on the floor and broke apart. So what I started last year, which has saved my yo-yos, is we have the bleachers. Um, so we can either stand up on that first row of the bleachers, I let them stand on that, or I have a stage. And so I will let the kids, let's see if I can show you. It's done. I'll let the kids stand on the stage, and then that way their fingers, the yo-yo won't hit the ground, so they stand up here and yo-yo off the side. So that way, if they're small, the yo-yo goes down and it won't hit my floor and it doesn't get broke that way. So that is how I yo-yo. As I said, I am nowhere near uh, Robbie Graham's level of yo-yo. He's going to do some great tricks. I'm going to put a couple of his, a uh, few minutes of his video on here to link it so you can see what a true yo-yo can do and uh, I will put some links on my page um, on my lesson page or my agenda page so you can go visit Robbie Graham uh, if you're on YouTube and you're not at the school you can look up Robbie Graham um, and he has some wonderful wonderful like really cool things that he does with a yo-yo So, uh, and he learned it when he broke his leg. He learned it leaning over a couch, yo-yoing over a couch uh, with a broken leg. So, uh, when you can't do some things, again, another hand great eye coordination, getting that timing down, lets you help you work with uh, small movements in your hands, in your body, and it looks pretty easy. It is kind of easy.